Well, my friends, today is a great day. Today is Amazon Auto Review Day. You're like, what in the world is that? This is the Amazon Auto. It's new. It's by invitation only so far right now. I got my invitation email. I am an Amazon Prime member. I got the email. Through that link, it was only $24.95. After tax, I think it was 26 and change or so. One day shipping to my location. So we're gonna be putting it through the test, showing you what it can do, how you connect it to your cell phone's internet, and show you some cool things it can do. So without further ado, let's get the Amazon Auto out, see what we have inside this little box. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out you're the first to know all right very simple product packaging by amazon of course if you have their other devices it's all very simple product packaging but we don't really care about that some people do i kind of like it very simple kind of like apple amazon chooses black of course apple chooses white and if you're wondering i am going to be connecting this to a samsung s8 plus that i'm actually filming on right here and all my camera equipment obviously this is invitation only so i can't really link this but i'll link some similar devices like the amazon input you should be able to connect that to your car like amazon auto so right here what you're going to need to keep the device powered on is going to be your cigarette plug 12 volt right there into a dual they're actually giving you a dual slot which is very nice so you can keep your cell phone charged as well as with this powered on. So this is your power source right here. Coming up here to the device, we're gonna get to in just a second. Looks like we have an alcohol cleaning pad. Probably this is your mount. Looks like there is a double-sided tape there. We're gonna get to that in just a second. And here is your cord here. This is a micro USB to USB. The approximate length on that is about a three foot cord. And that would obviously give you power into your cigarette tool volt into your Echo Auto right there on the side. Coming over here to this side of the box, looks like we have another plug here. And this, they're actually giving you, and very nice, they're giving you an AUX cable, male to male. And that's approximately three feet as well to get your audio. Here we just have some product information, kind of the setup, little cards, etc. And that's going to do it for the box there. Now something to keep in mind, even if you do not particularly think you're going to enjoy this, and it was kind of a no brainer for me to try this out and test it. And even if I decide that I do not want to keep it, it's not for me. These are going because it's invitation only. They're going for double, even triple what I paid for it on eBay, you can check those prices out yourself. It's part of the exclusiveness of the device right now. So let's get this guy out of the wrapper here and take it for a little look-see. So here is your device right here. We have the Amazon logo right there. I'm not sure what side. This side would go forward because this is gonna be your, that's gonna be your LED bar light right there. We're gonna show you that to you, of course. It's gonna go this direction here up on your dashboard, so it's gonna sit like this, facing this direction here. I assume all these are microphone inputs. Your two buttons here, just two buttons. So this is your microphone off button here, and this is your action button right there. Nothing on the back. Your micro USB port for power right there on the side, AUX on the side, and that again is gonna be your, your right side facing this way. Over here on the left side, not sure exactly what that is. Might be more microphone inputs, not exactly sure. And again, nothing on the back. Flipping it over, little QR code, some soft pads for wherever you're gonna put it. Input is five volts and one amp. Let's go ahead and open up this guy. And again, let's see what we have here. Here is gonna be a little piece of plastic there protecting it and that's really sticky there. Not like sticky sticky, but it's kind of one of those things where you stick it and you can take it off and you can probably wash it. Like some of those cell phone holders you've probably seen on those TV infomercials there. That again goes on the bottom and this would go right there. This would stick to your dashboard and they give you obviously the alcohol wiping pad to clean your dashboard, remove dust and lint. So that sticks down and can be removed. Again, probably washable, it's just sticky again. And then your Echo snaps right into place like that. Again, the square goes right in the middle. That sticks up on your dashboard with your power and AUX coming into the right side here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it down to the car and let's power it on. All right, let's see what happens when I plug it in for the first time. So I'm gonna be plugging it into my cigarette 12 volt adapter. Hello, let's get rolling. 
When you can safely do so, go to your Alexa app and add a new device. All right, so if you haven't already, of course, download the Alexa app and add a new device. Let me show you a cool feature. A text message just came in. Alexa, read the last two text messages. 12 for Christopher. Four SMS messages from May or more. I just left the office. Received in the last five minutes. All of us work dot. Alexa, stop. Rats with so it actually can read you back your messages. <laughs> That's kind of cool. The setup was really easy. I'll have to switch over cameras to show you some other features in this video. But right now it's going over my car speakers with an AUX cable I already did have. But remember, it did come with the AUX cable if you don't have one already. And that's not even plugged in to the Echo Audio. It's actually going Bluetooth from Echo Audio to my phone and then... AUX to my car speakers, and it's just going off of my phone's internet. Alexa, remind me to check into the EV rebate for my electric car. When should I remind you? 30 minutes from now. Okay, I'll remind you in 30 minutes. By the way, when your reminder rings, you can snooze it by saying, Remind me again in 15 minutes. Alexa, thank you. Of course. Have a good night. Pretty cool, folks. And obviously, you can get a little bit more stealth with the cord coming down to your 12-volt plug. You know, you could streamline that, go ahead and tack that in with a little double sticky tape. But overall, black on black, it's looking really smooth. I put my phone right up here. Well, guys, before I forget, I do want to start talking about a few little features of the Echo. Now, what's really cool is I do a lot of vlogging in my car on my other channel, Bensberg Films. It's always linked below. And so I do filming on my S8 Plus, which I'm actually filming on right now. Now, I actually have music playing over Amazon Music because I am a Prime member. And so right after I stop this video, all I do is say, Alexa, play. Now, obviously, it won't be able to do that because I am recording right now. But after I'm done recording, because it can't do two things at one time using the audio, I will just tell her to play and it will resume the exact place in the song. It's almost like pausing it. So you can tell your Echo to pause, to play. Now something to keep in mind is that your, your Echo Auto is going off of your cell phone's internet. So obviously it will not be able to work during a dead zone. So wherever you have internet service, your Echo Auto will work. We're in the car right now. Let me show you a couple more examples. Alexa, what's the weather today in Huntington Beach, California? Right now in Huntington Beach, California, it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Tonight's forecast has cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 63 degrees. So when you get a text message that comes in or a notification, it lights up this bar here, as we can see right here. The music still plays. I actually turned it off and then just this bar here. So it's not too distracting for you. So you can check it when it's safe to check your messages. Alexa. Where is the nearest Chipotle? I found the Chipotle Mexican Grill. It is two miles away. It is open until tonight at 10 p.m. What is 50 times seven divided by two? 50 times seven divided by two is 175. Thank you. Alexa, play. What do you want me to play? I don't know. Okay, well, I'll be here when you... Windows down, she can still pick up my voice. It's a really cool device. Here's an example here. Alexa, pause. Alexa, play. Alexa, pause. Alexa, what's the date today? Can you hear me, Maddie? Whoa. Hey, there you are. I've seen him over there with bad reception. 
<laughs> well, unfortunately, I just figured out something. I came upstairs from my Echo Auto and I was like, hey, let's go ahead and see if we can fire that up while I'm eating. And then I'm gonna jump back in the car. Let's go ahead and see if I could just tell my A to go ahead and play again and it would start up. That's what it does in my car. But unfortunately, we'll go ahead and play. Unfortunately, she says, what do you want me to play? So it's not seamless getting out of your car and then playing your podcast again. It might be. There might be something deep within the settings that I haven't figured out yet, but I'm just letting you know my firsthand experience that nothing was set up that way or it's not as seamless as it would be, which would be really cool. Get out of your car. You're listening to your book on tape. You're listening to whatever music, and then you float right into your house, and you tell her to play, and it picks back up. That would be cool. If it's possible, awesome. If not, developers, please jump on that. I think that would be cool. But when I jump back in the car, it's right back to where it was. Now, with the Echo Auto, here are a couple things that they are asking you to try out. These are some of the things that I might not have covered just because I don't have these subscriptions. For instance, my Audible subscription, which I did mention earlier, I don't actually have one, but you can go ahead and pause this or just go ahead and view it. You just tell it to play Sirius XM, Audible, add things to your calendar, add things to your grocery list. It's really cool. I've actually done reminders and that works out really well. Podcasts, sports, traffic and searches, as we can see here down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and flip it over. A few more things here. Obviously ask it questions if you're on a road trip. Turn on your smart thermostat, your garage door, your front door. You guys are getting the idea here. Uh, make phone calls, read text messages, find out where your Amazon packages are, reorder windshield wipers. <laughs> it's actually really, really cool. I'd say probably the biggest con so far, unless it's integrated into the settings and I haven't figured it out yet, would be seamlessly going from my car to my home and playing the same music or Audible or whatnot. Not that big of a deal, but just something that if it's not available in the settings somewhere that I haven't figured out, the developers need to start working on that. That would be a, definitely a plus. Overall, I've really enjoyed this device. I use it every single day. If by the time I publish this video, if it is currently available to the mainstream public, I will link that below. If not, get your hands on one definitely when it becomes available. You guys have a great day. Thumbs that video up if it has helped you make an informed decision if you want to go ahead and purchase one of these soon or not. We will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.